Okay, so using a ski erg, we want to get as much bang for buck on our monitor here as the effort that we're putting in when it comes to the machine. Uh, common mistakes that we see with the ski erg is people kind of pull down too low past their knees and aren't using a big hinge movement from like their, their glutes, their lower back and their trunk. So what I'd suggest with this is first of all, when you're setting up for the ski erg, that you want to have your feet shoulder width apart. So when you do that, shoulder width apart gives you a nice good base to the bottom. From there, then get the butts of the end of the handles to the end of your hand. Often we see them in the wrong place and this doesn't give you a good grip on the handles. So we'd say catch the both of those. When you start your ski then, you want to keep a strong midline here in the front. So that needs to be tense so we're not bending into flexion, losing tension in the core. We want to hips back and pull past our hips. So we use our body weight to pull down the handles. Obviously, if we're doing a sprint, we don't want to have that drop in form just to speed it up here. We still want to keep that tension when we're doing our ski. Um, because again, breaking the midline not only is losing, I suppose, tension and power coming through the rope here, but we're putting excessive pressure on the back as well. So a couple of key points from that. Set your feet solid on the ground. Bend your knees where you have that hinge where the hips go back, chest goes forward and use the big full pull of your arms and it's past your hips, not down to the knees.